Hello guys and welcome to EC Electronics. In today's video, we are going to see some job opportunities that is from government companies. And if you are a person with a diploma or a graduation, I strongly recommend you to watch the video till the end. So you will get to know what are the requirements currently happening, what are the job update, uh, updates that are present in the video. And trust me, if you don't keep on trying for job opportunities, you won't find them. So please watch the video till the end if you have a diploma or if you have a graduation. And there is a very big opportunity for the diploma uh, final year people. We are going to see that first because I have kept that with highest priority because a lot of, lot of diploma candidates have been commenting below the videos and asking for job opportunities. So why not? Let's jump into the video without any other further blabbering. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Okay, let us see the first opportunity. So I have seen this wonderful opportunity that is from the Aditya Birla group. So they are inviting applications for diploma engineer training. Sorry, I'm looking into the computer because there's too much of information because we are going to see three opportunities. Okay, Aditya Birla group uh, is hiring for diploma engineer trainee program 2025. And the eligibility criteria is final year diploma students. So come on, final year diploma students. This is the right time for you. This is the right opportunity for you. 2025 batch, if you are, if you are studying right now in the final years, you are eligible to apply. You can scan this QR code directly, which I'll be sharing in the first link. Or if you go to the next link, it will directly take you to a Google form that you can fill and you can apply. Okay. Birla Copper Diploma Engineer Training Program 2025. So it's going to be this program especially for candidates graduating with a diploma in the year of 2025. So though not just graduates, but also diploma candidates has a lot of opportunities. So please don't get uh, demotivated. There's a lot of opportunities coming up and I'm here to inform you. So please subscribe. Ensure all details provided are accurate and complete. Incomplete applications will not be considered. There is no fees or anything as such for applying. So don't have to bother about the fees. You just have to apply uh, and you have to wait for your luck. That's it. Okay. So apply. Probably there will be tests or interview and things will be there. But if you get some opportunities, that is the biggest thing, right? Okay. So that is the first and the foremost opportunity I wanted to tell because it's a short information and it's like very useful for a lot of people out there. Finally, diploma people get excited because... There is something exciting for you. Okay, let's move to the next opportunity that is from the very, very, very famous DRDO. I don't know why this government organization suddenly boomed like anything. They are hiring a lot of people nowadays, especially DRDO. I am seeing a lot of opportunities from Bharat Electronics Limited. And I'm seeing a lot of opportunities coming from other uh, government organizations like HPC, Alloy, and GC. Uh, what not so they are hiring uh, for junior research fellow so there is a recruitment out from the DRDO that is defense research and development organization I hope what I said is right yes defense research and development organization they are hiring for uh, a research fellow junior research fellow and let me see mostly all streams of uh, engineering has opportunity here. Mechanical engineering, electronics. Well, that's our area of interest, right? Naval architecture, aerospace, computer science. Yeah. So here, let's see what is the case. Okay. So junior research fellow, mechanical has two openings. Graduate degree, you should be having either B, B tech in mechanical engineering, obviously, because it is for mechanical engineer, uh, JRF. Uh, first division you should be having that is first class with a valid gate or net score now if you don't have a valid gate score don't worry nowadays i think most of the people have but if you don't have if you fall into that category then if you have an mem tech then uh, you don't need to have a gate score because gate is actually considered to be like the what do you say the the mediator in between b tech and m tech so or the intermediate if you don't have and if you directly jumped from the b tech to the m tech then that's good. You don't need to have a gate score. That is, if you have a MEM tech, you don't need to have a gate score. Exciting, right? Next, the same thing. Junior research fellow electronics, two openings. Uh, graduate degree with a first class in B, B tech electronics. Or if you have an MEM tech, directly you can apply. 
uh, next junior research fellow naval architecture one opening qualifications are the same aerospace also one opening same qualifications graduate uh, degree in professional course uh, b b tech same thing if you have a valid gate score after b tech apply or if you have an m tech with a first class again you are eligible to apply so these junior research fellows are one of the biggest opportunities they pay a very good salary uh, i think they pay up to like 56100 uh, that much salary they pay for these roles you get a great opportunity to do this research work in one of the um, biggest government organizations so you get to do research work with one of the uh, biggest government organizations of india that is a great thing uh, i was not really aware of these kind of opportunities when i was doing my b tech or my m tech because if there was an opportunity to you know work under these government organizations we, uh, in the stream that you studied if you are able to do some research work then that's a great opportunity so you can apply for it uh, here they are going to be doing a walk in drive for the post and the details here yeah um, let me tell you about the salary there is a correction the salary they have given here is 37000 plus house rent elements okay not 56000 that is i think for scientist post so let me just clarify it uh, okay so that is 7000 plus house rent now the upper age limit is 28 years uh, and yeah everything they have mentioned what all things you have to carry while going for the uh, the drive walk in drive let me tell you the dates of the walk-in drive for junior research fellow electronics and uh, in mechanical engineering it's going to be happening on the 20th of february okay enough time is there enough time is there for you to plan your travel and everything and for the other streams for all the other streams it's going to happen on february 19th yeah reporting time is nine hours i think it's 9 a.m yeah everything they have given in detail uh yeah examination fees is 10 rupees yes to be paid uh, to be paid across the postal order yeah i think that's the only examination fees i think they are just keeping this fees to uh, you know cut down the number of people that's just 10 rupees upper age limit is very important a lot of people are going to ask me again but upper age limit is 28 years so please consider this the upper age limit shall be uh, relaxable for the people belonging to sc st obc as per government orders generally it is th i think three three and five i mean sc st category they get five years uh, and other people i think they get three years uh, as per the the notifications that i've read i think that's the case but again if there is something you can probably ask them yeah there is an application form you have to fill them uh, I mean, you have to fill it. Uh, that is attached along with the notification. You need to attach a photo uh, and fill up this application form and take it while you are going. Okay, take all your certificates, your CAS certificate, your 10th, 12th mark sheets, gate scorecard, everything. Don't forget any of the stuff. Have a thorough look on the notification. That is your holy bible when it comes to job notifications. I mean, job applications. The notification is the, like the bible. Okay let's move to the next opportunity for today's video it is from the hpcl uh okay hindustan petroleum corporation limited they in collaboration with rajasthan so they have given here uh hpcl is hiring for various posts we are going to see the details and again attractive news diploma candidates are also eligible and there is a wide variety of posts uh, for which you can apply a lot of uh, i have seen many other youtube channels making a separate video on this but i thought like okay not make another video let's just combine these together in one video because all of these are uh, kind of uh, applicable for diploma graduates and everybody so whoever is watching the video please share it with your friends okay if any of your friends is eligible for this please share it with them so hpcl uh, in is a joint venture of hindustan petroleum corporation and government of rajasthan yeah so uh now they are hiring for 
different post there is junior executive chemical engineer in engineer instrumentation that is coming under electronics engineer electrical officer information system senior engineer uh, process refinery uh, so senior manager refinery uh, senior manager process again of site and planning senior manager technical planning senior manager process safety senior manager quality control senior manager mechanical senior manager instrumentation senior manager fire and safety 13 post is there 13 post not i'm not talking about the vacancies it is 13 post now the vacancy for uh, chemical junior executive is 80 vacancies is there engineer instrumentation three vacancy engineer electrical three vacancy officer information system one senior engineer uh, process refinery 11 vacancies senior manager process refinery four vacancies senior manager process offset planning three vacancies you can see all the informations on the screen as well and for other post you can see the details totally 121 open positions is there okay let me just tell you the last day to apply last date for online application is 8th of february again enough time is there please apply for it as soon as possible all computations and relevant experience cal uh, calculation will be happening based on 15th January 2024. That will be the, the benchmark for cutoff criteria. Let's have a look on the details of requirements. For the junior executive chemical post, you need to have a diploma in chemical engineering or if you have a BSc chemistry, again you are eligible to apply. Okay, let me just tell you here diploma candidates, graduates, and B beta candidates, everybody is eligible. So, first is uh, junior executive uh, uh, chemical, so diploma in chemical engineering, petrochemical, chemical engineering, chemical engineering, plastic polymer, a lot of streams are eligible. Or if you have BSc, you can also apply. Now, for underserved category, 60 percentage is required. Uh, SSC category, 50 percentage or past classes only required. BSc chemistry also same thing 60 percentage for underserved 50 percentage for SCST they have given the details of key responsibilities and everything uh, yes uh, okay so they are not asking for any work experience there so you can apply if you are a uh, fresher diploma candidates a lot of opportunities let's talk about the engineering engineer recru recruitments engineer instrumentation and electrical we will talk other details you can find on the notification because i don't want to make this video too lengthy okay so let's quickly see engineer instrumentation three vacancies you need to have b b tech uh, in instrumentation electronics instrumentation instrumentation and control uh, electronics instrumentation and process control electronics and telecommunication 60 percentage of mark for underserved 50 percentage for scst you need to have three year of experience okay three year of post qualification work experience in the supervisor role Yes, so everything they have given in detail. Let's talk about the engineer electrical. Same thing, three vacancy. You need to have BB Tech, 60 percentage for underserved, 50 percentage for SCST, three year of experience also you need to have. Okay. Now the other details, everything they have mentioned in the notification. So it's a good place to go and check like what is the details. It's like, a, I know it's a lengthy notification, but you know what is your qualification. You just have to look there only. You don't have to read the whole notification. Let me just tell you, okay. Now, here, uh, the pay scale is very, very good. For junior executive, 8.29 lakhs. Engineer, it is 13.6 lakhs. Wow. Senior engineer, 16 lakhs per annum. This is all per annum, okay. Senior manager, 22. Wow, that's great. They have given the placement of post, placement or posting. Um, it can be in any place around the country not just in uh, Rajasthan or anything. Let's talk about the selection methodology. Selection methodology will be having a computer-based test, skill test and personal interview. They have given the syllabus for the computer-based test. If you want, them to, want me to make a video on that, tell me, I'll make it. Because it's, otherwise it's too lengthy to discuss in one video. So let me just skip that part. Okay, so everything is clear. We have seen the total uh, openings and everything. I have given the details now i have given the the process of application i mean the the last date of application let me tell you about the process of application there is a link in the uh, in the notification 
which is in page 25. Please note that page 25 is the place where you have to go. Candidates are requested to apply online through the link in the page 25. Uh, yes, all details you have to fill up. Let's see for the fees of application. It's for underserved categories. It is 1000 rupees. Uh, yes, SCST people are exempted from paying the fees. Yeah, female candidates also need to pay 1000 plus GST. Okay, so that's all for the details of this recruitment from HPCL. So if you are looking for a job, uh, I know it's a struggle. I know it's hard, but you need to somehow apply. You need to try. Okay, so that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, thanks for supporting. All the links are in the description. Please support the channel by subscribing to it. More videos will be coming soon on your way. Wait for that. Bye-bye. <laughs>